What's good, y'all? CT signing in. So earlier today, Dwayne Haskins found himself in the news again as his week from hell continues. This time because he decided to part ways with his agent, David Mulligetta. Now, if you don't know who Mulligetta is, he's one of the most prominent sports agents in the NFL, representing some of the biggest names over the years like Deshaun Watson, Jalen Ramsey, Michael Thomas, Derwin James, as well as older names like Earl Thomas and Jamal Charles. He even has his own ESPN special. Mulligetta then released a statement after Dwayne ended their business relationship, essentially saying he wishes he could have kept representing Dwayne, but respects his decision and wishes him the best, which is the professional response you'd come to expect from someone in his position. But I know he could have said a lot worse if he wanted to. I think Dwayne is making a terrible decision by firing this agent and trying to seek out new representation. When you're going through hard times, you have to be careful not to make changes in your life just for the sake of having change. To give you an example, you'll see alcoholics who have been struggling with putting the bottle down. Then they go to one AA meeting and suddenly they throw away all of their liquor, all of their beer. They start going to church, going to bed early and acting like a saint. It's too much change at once and they almost always relapse. The other reason why is they don't realize the problem is within. Now, I went more in depth about this in my other video about Dwayne that I uploaded yesterday, which I recommend you watch. And my assessment of him is that I believe he's more attracted to the glory and fame that comes with being in the NFL rather than actually loving the game of football itself. So he needs to figure that part out first, deciding if football is his true passion or not. You can't blame your agent for taking selfies with fans when you're supposed to be on the field having poor practice habits, parties with strippers in the middle of a pandemic, and most of all, playing like dog shit when it's finally game day. Despite reports that there are NFL teams interested in signing Haskins, including the Panthers, which were his last game with Washington, he still was not claimed off of waivers. He also made his Twitter private, which at first might seem like a smart thing to do. Don't open yourself up to more criticism by saying the wrong things but he utilized social media in a great way during the off season. Posting pictures and videos of his workouts, he lost 11 pounds. It looked like he was putting in the work. And if he wants to get signed, it actually might be a good idea to start posting those workout videos again. But as I continued to look into the news about his agent, I just found more and more disturbing stories about Dwayne Haskins. One of them was that he was caught on camera on draft night with naked pictures of his girlfriend. Now the images are blurred, so I am going to show them, but nobody, nobody does this. And if you want to say it's none of my business to be judging what another man has as his phone wallpaper, that's fine. But have the self-awareness to change it while you're on TV, or at the very least, shield your phone screen from the camera. And that was actually a complaint from an unnamed source close to Haskins that he has very poor self-awareness. You can read the rest of this in the Washington Post. The article also mentions his father promising that Haskins would win Super Bowls as well as a marketing business they launched together that has already seemed to fail as the website domain is no longer in service. The whole thing sounds very reminiscent of another controversial sports father. I'm not naming any names. You think he can be as good as Steph Curry in the NBA? Heck no! He gonna be better than Steph Curry in the NBA. You guys might think I'm reaching but this reminds me a lot of 2007 Britney Spears. Obviously not as bad, but you remember when she was fed up with what seemed like the entire world, shaving her head, attacking people with umbrellas and dating paparazzi. Then when it came time for her to perform, she was a hot mess who could barely even stand up straight. The same way Haskins stays being messy and getting into trouble and can't even back it up on game day. If you're gonna be a troublemaker, at least make up for it on Sunday by playing well so the team can get some kind of return on their investment, like Antonio Brown does. All I'm saying is, an intervention is needed, like expeditiously, if Haskins stands any chance of getting his career back on track. The good news is, there have been rumblings of Urban Meyer possibly making the switch to coaching in the NFL. The familiarity is certainly there, and we know how highly Urban thinks of Dwayne. At this point, Haskins probably feels like he has very few allies. Reuniting with the last person he had success with may be his only shot at redemption. 
this is CT, and I'm signing out.